Uh, joining us now this morning is actually a former mobster who knows firsthand just how dangerous Whitey Bulger is. His name is John Red Shea. He was part of the drug operation for Bulger's infamous Winter Hill Gang. Uh, Shea later served 12 years in prison on cocaine trafficking charges. He wrote about his experiences uh, with Bulger in a memoir called Rat Bastards, The Life and Times of South Boston's Most Honorable Irish Mobster. Shea's also the author of a novel, A Kid from Southie. John Shea, good morning to you. Good morning. Hey, John, so uh, are you surprised why he was caught? I am very surprised, to be honest with you. Why? Well, I thought uh, the, the only way that he'd come back would be uh, of natural death. John, I, we, we talked about this a little bit yesterday, and I think a, a, a lot of people, uh, d d despite all the despicable crimes that he's charged with, I think a lot of people are still fascinated by the fact that, that Whitey still seemed to inspire this loyalty from you for a time, from many others, certainly from his, from his girlfriend, Catherine Krieg, for all those years who stood by him. Wh why is that? He had a unique... Uh character about himself and um, you know he was very manipulative well, and what sort of things did he say to you how, how was he how did he manipulate you in those ways he, he manipulated me um, in ways uh, such as you know one minute he, he it was kind of almost like law enforcement when they play good guy bad guy uh, uh, um, when they're trying to interrogate a, uh, uh, a suspect so you have one guy on one side being a good guy to you and then the other guy on the bad guy. So now you want to, most times, uh, you want to lean to the, the good side. Um, he was both ways himself. He, did, he, he acted in that manner. He built you up and then he took you back down He again. built you up and took you back down, correct. Um, John, as you know, he's charged with 19 murders, uh, extortion, money, laundering, a, a, a long list. But you say he's guilty of a lot more than he's even charged with, right? Um, through, well, yeah, he had a reign long before I was even born. And, um, uh, you know, his reputation uh, has, uh, you know, it goes back a long way. And, you know, he's, he's, he's done a lot, of, a lot of serious, serious things. Uh, with this 19 bodies that he has here is just, uh, I'd say, icing uh, on the cake. John, you felt like towards, towards the end of uh, his, his reign, obviously, Bulger uh, ratted on you, and you say you never ratted on them. That's correct. And, you, and, and, and it's your belief that, it, you know, Bulger's, he's, he, he's a mobster, clearly, but I think some people portray him as this sort of principled, stand-up guy. Absolutely not. The guy is an evil man. He's done tons and tons of evil, uh, not only to uh, innocent victims, but he also has never honored the code that he preached all those years um, to myself and to others in, involved. And uh, he, he, was, he, was a, he was a fraud in that sense. Uh, he, he lied completely lied through, through uh, his whole, whole entire reign of being in the mob. Um, uh, you know, yeah. you, you, John, I can only imagine what you'd say to him um, when he makes his way back to Boston, but my sense is that you probably won't get a chance to, uh, to see him, and he's, uh, he's well, going straight to lockup. John Shea, joining us from Boston this morning. John, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much, and good morning to you. Good morning to you as well. Thanks, John.